good morning everyone happy friday welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekend in my life and this time we actually have no plans and i am thrilled about it so welcome to a weekend in my life of no plans we're gonna see what we get into see what we got going on you guys know me i'll probably get into some stuff but i love i love a free weekend it just feels like i can do whatever i want you know? So, this morning I read some of my book. I have like eight, nine pages left. So I'm really excited to finish that. You know, when you get to the end of a book, it's super juicy and you just want to know what happens. So, I actually am going to read it while I work out right now. I'm going to get in my HIIT workout. I just got on my little workout outfit. This is Forever 21. I'm wearing a sports bra. And then these are Yvette leggings. I love these. They like suck you in really good at the top. They're like super fitted but not like uncomfortable they're just like they just like flatter you and they look really nice so love that so we're about to go get in this hit workout zane is downstairs actually with his brother and his cousin and they're watching like a big tennis match that's going on right now i believe it's djokovic and alcaraz but i could be wrong but i believe those are the two because it's like a big big match and those are like two of like the best players you know i try to keep up <laughs> Actually, you guys will see in this vlog, I think we might go today, but Zane helped me order a tennis racket. He's like, I want to start playing with you, getting you good, and I was like, I would love to. So now that the weather's getting nice, we can go to like parks and stuff. So I think that's getting delivered today. It's like a more beginner version of the racket that he uses, so I'm excited for that. I'm going to become a new tennis gal, entering my tennis era. <laughs> weightlifting and tennis. I've played tennis here and there, but I've never gotten like good at it. I can rally a ball back and forth, but like actually getting good has not been in my forte. I'm not like a very sporty gal, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so they're down there watching that, so I'm gonna work out while they're watching that, and we're gonna get this day going. Not much on the plans, but I love that. Well, today is Friday, and it's my upload day, so it's gonna be a lot of heavy editing, but for the rest of the weekend, we have no plans. But I figured I'd start you guys off, so happy Friday, happy weekend. Let's do it. Are you guys ready to start the day? Oh, hi! Good morning, everyone. checking back in i just heated up my thing i have that sitting here and i just heated up some lunch i'm having the costco pupusas with some sour cream would prefer curtido but i don't have it and yeah not making it either don't have the stuff to do that so i settled for sour cream these are honestly good on their own but i'm a sauce gal so want a little bit of sauce i just took such a nice shower i needed it i was actually gonna do like the whole exfoliation and everything because girl is due i'm getting like around my wrist and my neck you can see all my discoloration but looked at the weather tomorrow might finally be a pool day we have not had days to have a pool day so i was like eh, i'm gonna go out in the sun and stuff tomorrow i'll do it tomorrow so we'll refresh another day so if i'm all like scaly and alligatory and patchy it is what it is you guys know me I don't even have to explain it to you. But I just feel like I have to say something about it because if there's like one person that's like new or something and doesn't know that I tan, they might look at me and be like, this girl looks bad, does she know? And I guess if you haven't kept up with the last few vlogs, I actually have a cyst right here. So that's what this thing is. It's like a heated thing. I'm supposed to put that on it to make it go away. So finished a book this morning, Confess. 
by Colleen Hoover. Really good, not my favorite by her, but still enjoyed it. I put a four out of five on my Goodreads, so it was still really enjoyable. I'm on to the next, I'm reading without merit. I really wanna read Heartbones, but I'm waiting to get it on the Kindle. I have it like on hold at the library, so I'm like re waiting for my spot in line, but I have without merit already. It's due in seven days, so I'm like, might as well read that. So reading that, I'm gonna have my lunch, and then I have to get up today's vlog, so. That's my boring Friday. Exciting stuff. You wanna hang out with me? Wow, my baby got me today. You and Benji. Look at this cat. Been getting in my way the whole time I've been trying to upload my vlog. But it's almost up. We're doing good. Zane is um here now. He's unboxing my new racket that I told you guys about. Oh no way. What? They give you a little case too. Oh, mini no baby way. case. I hope this is an adult size racket, man. I fucked up. A what size racket? Like uh, like a kid size racket. I can use a kid size racket. Is that why it was so cheap? No. Wow. Uh, it's my version of your racket. Where could you go? Oh, it comes strong. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Perfect. And it's a good string too for you. It's not gonna be too rough on your arm. Okay. Nice, babe. Where could you Let's go? Let's go play tomorrow. Wanna go play tomorrow? Easy on Ace. Um. Saturday. Yeah. Do it. It's fun. Awesome. Wow, it's so crisp and clean compared to mine. Oh, I feel it. Does it does it have grip? This is the right grip size for you, yeah. Nice and thin. Oh, but it's already pre-gripped too. Well that's like um oh. they call that a That's good. You could that's get That's basically it. no listen, that's basically a factory grip. I'm gonna oh, put on one of my white grips one. for you. Okay. Because you're supposed to put an over grip on the factory grip. Oh, okay. Like you know how mine's like orange? Yeah. That is basically this. Oh, okay. But it's synthetic instead of leather. Okay. That's so cute that they said this That's to you. I love adorable. it. That's adorable. It says Yonix too. Cute. That's all I need. That's so cute. <laughs> All right, we'll play tomorrow. Anyways, just wrapping up here. I made my thumbnail. I'm doing some linking, and then we're about to go make some dinner. We're gonna have some pasta tonight. Right, Belle? Pasta. <laughs> we're gonna wing up a pasta dish because I have some ingredients that I want to use. I'm gonna do some garlic, some onion. We have this jalapeno chicken sausage, and we have these tomatoes that are getting a little wrinkly. So we're gonna cook it all down, make like a butter kind of sauce with some rigatoni. That's my plan. Just a little throw it together. So let's chop everything up. Let's chop. You said you want to use rigatoni? Yeah. Very convenient. And what do we love in this household? Convenience. The book I'm reading right now. <laughs> the first scene is she like collects trophies, that's like her random thing. Mm -hmm. So she's at a thrift store, and then all of a sudden she sees this guy from like the upper level on a balcony like looking down at her in the store. She's like, hmm, weird. And then he went up to her and was just like talking to her, just like making conversation. She felt really comfortable, and they were like having this moment, and they kissed. Then all of a sudden he gets a phone call. Okay. And he's like, is this a prank? And she's like, huh? It's like, what a prank that we just like randomly kissed. Like, what's the prank? And then it was her twin sister calling him. It was her twin sister's new boyfriend. He thought, he thought it was his girlfriend. Oh my God. She's like, you cannot tell her about this. She's, but she's like, well, just tell her. but she's like, but it felt so right. And so I think she's going to have like this obsession over him now. Oh God. That's a pretty interesting plot. Yeah. I think today's chalk for me. For what? Like, I think I'm going to go eat food with you and get the shoot. Sounds good to me. We can finish Ted Lasso. Oh, well you Do can you rewatch it? Oh, go get put it on on your phone. What? There's freaking 12 episodes. I was probably falling asleep a little bit before I said it. Oh, I remember that guy screaming. You can stop there. You can start there. Can you get the a tablespoon and the butter? Lost the baby. Look, I get. Voila, everyone. Here is the finished product. Just boiled up the pasta. 
And then as you saw in the skillet, did some onion, garlic, tomatoes, salt and pepper. And then we put the chicken sausage in there. What is all over me? I must have got something on my hand while I was cooking. Then once the pasta was done, toss it with everything. A little bit of lemon juice. I wish I had fresh lemon zest. That would be ideal, but we don't. And then two tablespoons of butter and some Parmesan cheese. And then topped it with some finishing salt. Looks and smells really good. It should have a nice kick too because it's a jalapeno sausage. Simple but delicious. Hopefully it's yummy. I just have to update you guys. This is so good. Can you attest? Oh, it's phenomenal. <laughs> you said it yourself. It tastes yeah. like a light pasta dish. You'd get mm -hmm. it like a restaurant or Italian something. Italian restaurant. Because I, since I cooked the tomatoes, it almost made like a fresh like tomato juice. Yeah. And then mixed with the butter and like the little spiciness of the chicken sausage and the and fresh I'm on salt. I'm a major pasta kick. Sorry to interrupt you, but I'm on yeah. a major pasta kick. Yeah, it's hitting. Extra hard, it's hitting. Yeah, it's very good, you guys. Yum. If I, we had fresh lemon zest, it'd be even better. And maybe like a, a basil on top, you know? But, you know, we worked with what we got. This was like a clean out the fridge pasta. <laughs> We've migrated to the bedroom, so it's time to set up Fort. Dave's got his popcorn. <laughs> Oh yeah. Watching the last two episodes now? Three episodes? We thought we were near the end yesterday, we weren't. Two more full ones. Two more full episodes. Gotta get on the hatch, gotta get on the AC. Yes, one day we will get central air, but that's a big investment. So for now, we use this. Okay, I'm gonna try out the heating pad instead of having to heat that thing up all the time for my cyst. Oh, where's my Kindle? I need it set up for the morning so I can read. Needs to go on my stand so I can just wake up and read. Yeah. Now I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Look at this baby. Look at this baby. She's obsessed with you. She doesn't even want to snuggle with me. <laughs> and I have this one. <laughs> Good morning everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm cleaning out their like water fountain and stuff this morning. And I just had to grab my camera and show you this. This is hysterical. Can I help all of you? <laughs> They're just sitting there staring at me. So funny. I'm putting your fountain back together. Hold on, I have to scrub it clean. It is the most beautiful day for a pool day, so we're taking advantage of it. Let's get ready to go sit outside. We're gonna sit outside, we're gonna go play tennis later, we're gonna make dinner, we're gonna exfoliate and put on a fresh tan. It's gonna be a good Saturday. Let's pick a bathing suit. What do we wanna wear today? I think I'm gonna go for this Amazon one because it's minimal tan lines. All right, we're in our bathing suit, ready to go, getting ready for our pool day. Benji is here, in case you didn't know. Hi. Can I help you? He just wants to be by me all the time lately. Hi. I say that as he's pushing away. Anyways, finally a nice day. We're gonna have a pool day for a few hours, read my book. I'm very into it so far. I'm reading Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. And I'm interested. It's a very like weird, interesting like character scenario so far. So I'm very intrigued. I got some new scent birds in the mail this month. So today is the perfect day to try one out. I'm not going anywhere, so I can really test it out, see if I like it. Clearly, as you can tell, I love switching up my perfume scent and trying all different ones. I've got the cards right here for the ones I just got in the mail. And I have so many scent birds. There's some in all my purses too, and these aren't even the ones that I got this month. I just think it's so fun to try different smells. As of right now, the current fave is Ariana Grande Cloud. There's just something about this scent. It's so unique and so just perfect. It's not too floral, it's simple, but it still smells like unique and beautiful. I don't know. So thank you so much to Scentbird for working with me again and sponsoring today's video. They are a fragrance subscription service. They come in these really cute little cases, easy to throw in your purse, travel with. They're magnetic, so they just pop right open. And look at how much you get, you guys. This is a 30-day supply. So you can try it out before committing to a full-size bottle because those can be so expensive, like $150. I mean, I've seen some brands that go up to like $500 a bottle. Here are my three that I got this month. You get these little cards with your order and on the back it shows you the notes of what they smell like. This Furla one says it's more like a floral scent. This Aqua de Parma, please excuse my pronunciation. This is more like citrusy, which I really like and it's got like a musk in it. And this Floral Street Arizona Bloom has coconut, jasmine petals. I think this is the one I'm gonna go for today. Coconut just sounds like the perfect summer outdoor pool kind of scent. And they don't only have perfumes, they have colognes as well. They have a lot of unisex options. And they have brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace. Let's test it out. All you do is just twist the top here this way so that you can press it down and it sprays. 
Oh my. Oops, right into my hair. <gasps> I just ate it a little bit. Wait, you guys, that one smells so good. Oh, that might have to be a purchase. I'm gonna see how it wears on me today. That smells amazing. The description says, think endless skies and eternal sunshine. That's literally what it smells like. 10 out of 10. If you guys try Scentbird, try this one. So yeah, there's no surprises. You can choose a new designer fragrance to try every single month for only $17, but they gave me an amazing discount code for you guys. You can use my coupon code AlyssaRose55 to get 55% off at Scentbird. That is just a little over $7 for your first month for a whole 30 day supply and that is available in the US and Canada so go ahead and find your perfect fragrance and thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video I'll have everything linked down below including the scents that I got as well first things first we need to steal the Kindle stand from the bedroom so we can put it on the lounge chair outside perfect we're gonna need a hair scrunchie got the Kindle got the phone got the stand and let's make a quick lunch to bring outside I went with the Costco chicken pitas with some lettuce I put in there and then I dip it in mayo and Frank's red hot buffalo sauce and it's so good I guess I should put on my sunglasses these are kind of funny but I'm like yeah I'm just sitting in the backyard I'm probably never gonna actually wear them so might as well use them as like a Care to wear in the backyard and not care about they're just amazon but i'm just gonna sit at the table and eat quick because i haven't put the cushion on the lounge chair yet and i'm just like hungry so i'm like oh, i'll just sit here before i go lay down mm, so good i forgot a bucket hat i have to go get one but we're all sunscreened up got my kindle on the stand we are ready hopefully the sun shines for a decent amount of time i know it's supposed to be cloudy a little bit later so try to take advantage of this update i went inside and got all the goodies i got my bucket hat i got a towel on the chair and a towel like behind my head to prop my head up because i can read better instead of like leaning back so now i'll be able to see the kindle because the bucket hat blocks the sun and literally nothing matches but like it is what it is <laughs> Okay, back inside. I think I got some good color today. I tried to lay on my back a little bit. I'm terrible about doing that. I always lay, like, I mean, like, lay on my stomach to tan my back, but I think I got a pretty good tan line today. Not too shabby. Anyways, now I'm gonna change real quick, and Zane and I are gonna go play some tennis. Exciting. Let's go. All right, we've made it. Zane's got the balls and his racket. I got my little racket and the little case it came in. <laughs> got the sippy. It's been a minute. I'm excited. Oh, these courts are empty. Oh no, someone's on it. Okay. We tried to go on other courts and the pickleball players, <laughs> they um, reserved all of them. So we had to go to other courts. You guys that bad? My new racket. Wow. This is Zane's racket and this is mine. Wow. Twinsies. Twinsies. Oh, I'm gonna shake this off, right? Wow, I finally have my own racket. Every time I play tennis, it was with that random one that we got from... That was super busted. Yeah, who knows where. <laughs> That's why I was like, if you want to play tennis, like you should probably I should get actually get stick. a right racket, yeah. yeah. It's going to be so satisfying. Yeah. The other one. Yeah. It's going to be nice and like tacky. Yeah, tacky. It's pretty crafty of you. You said this the other day. <laughs> You're right. It, it is. is crafty. It's like a little, a little bit of an art. We're getting crafty. Watch out. Okay. Fifty-four, three hundred and thirty calories, fifty-two minutes. Pretty good. Love to see you. Let's go. Back at home, and now we are hungry. We're gonna have some dinner. 
We are keeping it quite simple tonight. We got this salad kit at Lidl. So we're gonna have this and then some turkey burgers. Tomorrow, I'm gonna make a new recipe with you guys like the old days and I'm so excited. I have a Walmart pickup tomorrow after Zumba. So we'll get the ingredients and we'll cook. But tonight, we're keeping it nice and simple on this Saturday. We're gonna watch the last episode or two of Ted Lasso while we eat. And we're gonna take a nice exfoliating shower. It's gonna be a nice relaxing night. And just like that, we have dinner and a pretty much clean kitchen. That was amazing. Got a little salad, some air fried potatoes, and I put my turkey burger in a little tortilla. And we're gonna watch Ted Lasso. This looks amazing, nice balanced meal. Oh God, don't look at Benji. Oh God. He's so good. He's the weirdest kneader ever. Why do you need so weird? I can't figure it out. So strange. Quick little update, dinner was delicious. We finished Ted Lasso, it was so good. A few unanswered things, but still a good finale. And took my nice long exfoliating shower. I just got on my fresh self tanner. I'm in my PJs and we're heading to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for our Sunday. Good morning. I need chapstick desperately. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Very excited for today. I stayed in bed a little bit and read my book. I'm already over halfway done. I'm really enjoying it without merit. It's so good. I am still in my self tanner. I haven't rinsed yet, so love her. She's oh, such a good tan. Also, I slept with my hair in like a bun and it actually came out pretty decent. It's still a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna leave it down for now. And then I'm gonna bring a little clip. I'm heading to Zumba. So we're gonna go get a workout in and then we're gonna get our car wash and then we're gonna get a Walmart pickup and then when we come back, we're gonna make a skinny taste recipe. I literally just said it to Zane recently and then when I was with my manager, she was like, I miss the skinny taste recipe days when you would like always try new recipes and I was like, I literally just said that to Zane the other day. I'm like, we should try a new recipe soon. Like I've been just like occupied, you guys know, with like so many other things that I haven't like really focused on cooking that much. So we're gonna try a new recipe together today. I feel like since I said it to Zane and then my manager said it, I was like, all right, it's meant to be. And then recently I saw one of you guys comment and it got like a decent amount of thumbs up so that you guys missed like the adventure challenges and like the um, <clears throat> the chopped videos that I used to do. So I'll probably just incorporate them into vlogs because that's just kind of like my style. And the idea of like doing like a whole dedicated like video like that, it just doesn't feel like me anymore. So I'm gonna do it more vlog style, but I wanna start to incorporate those things into the vlogs again. So yeah, today we're gonna do a little throwback, do a new recipe with you guys, and then expect in the next like few vlogs, we'll do like a chopped challenge Challenge, which if you guys aren't familiar um, Zane gives me three random ingredients from the kitchen and I have to just make a meal out of it Which is like so fun. It's like it's a show It's a TV show called chopped and that's the concept I'm excited to do that And then when Zane and I have a second we'll do the adventure challenge book and it'll be like the OG days So hopefully you guys are excited about that. This vlog is like full of cooking that pasta recipe that I made I just threw it together. It was so good I want to make like a reel on it I think like short form content soon and like write it all out for you guys because it was just such a good like fresh pasta anyways i'm trying out another perfume let's see we'll do this one because it says it's citrusy which i like that's very like summery i like sprayed that right into my nose <laughs> it smells good though also it is sunday so we need to do a little bit of cleaning in this house we have kept up with it really good this week so the kitchen is pretty much clean i want to do a quick vacuum i mopped last week so i don't need to do that again um the litter boxes need to just be like refreshed we have the automatic one so all you have to do is like change the bag put in some fresh litter and a little deodorizer and then maybe like a quick wipe down of my island and stuff but other than that the house is pretty clean zane does the bathrooms so we love him for that okay what time is it let's go so that i'm not late this time to zumba because now i actually have time and now i'm just chatting your guys ear off here's my little setup of the day i got my sippy i'm gonna bring these little granola bars because i just took like a lot of medications i took like my birth control my symbiotic and all that and sometimes my stomach gets a little iffy kindle for car wash and walmart pickup because i'm obsessed with this book and my phone i'm gonna put on my lulu bag and i'm gonna eat these on the way there 
You guys already know the Sunday routine. We are done with Zumba and now we're in the car wash. It was just so quiet right before I started filming, but here we are. I've got my Kindle and then we're gonna get our Walmart pickup. And they had everything in my pickup, except for one thing, which was like a random sauce that I wanted to try. So perfect, they have everything that we needed. We're off to a good start today. All right, back at home, we got our Walmart pickup. Let me show you guys what we got. String cheese, Neufchatel, American slices, a thing of Swiss cheese. This is for the dinner we're gonna cook today. I don't really know if I like Swiss cheese that much, but we're about to find out. Garlic, sour cream, more tortillas. We just need to restock on some stuff, some ketchup. I got two packages of hot dogs because I love hot dogs and I hate when we run out of them. So we can always freeze a pack. Got some apples, tis the season, apples and almond butter. So good. I also got these sparkling waters that my parents put us onto. They're coconut pineapple and they are so, so good. Love those. And then lastly, I got this little sauce. I got two of them, but the other one they didn't have. Cilantro lime sauce by Hellman's. That sounds amazing. The other one was like a honey, chili, spicy, sweet kind of sauce. So excited to try that. Put it on bowls and tacos, whatever. That's everything we got. We're gonna cook as soon as my chicken defrosts, but it's still defrosting in the sink. So we're gonna wait a little bit while we do some other things. I go to put these bowls away from feeding them the previous time, they want more food. What? I'm gonna get myself stuck in a vicious cycle here. I'm gonna always have to give you guys wet food every time I try to put these back in the cabinet. <laughs> What do you guys want? What do you all want? So many cats. Here, let's let's eat by your food today, not in the kitchen, okay? Look at the squad, I've got them all lined up against the wall. <laughs> Chowing, do you guys hear that? Happy cats, I gotta get a picture of this, this is hysterical. Having a little brunch, did some toast, avocado, arugula, fried eggs, and some hot honey on top. Yum, sounds amazing. Let's unbox some packages. I'm just gonna stay right here on the floor because that's where they all are in the entryway of our house. They've just been thrown here. So let's unbox. Also, if I have black under my eyes, I keep forgetting that I'm wearing mascara. I put on a little bit of mascara this morning for the gym and I usually don't. So I've been like rubbing my eyes and I forgot. So if it's getting all over me, <laughs> It is what it is. Um, these I already opened because Bella threw up on the Amazon bag. So I just immediately was like, I don't know what's in there. So let me take it out. But I got some packaging. Um, they're just like plain like shipping bags to ship stuff. Zane is fixing the sump pump sink downstairs. Something happened with it. It's not draining correctly. This says Zane's name on it, but let's see. Oh, some good Hanes tank tops. Thank you, Zane, for adding to the haul. Oh. So excited for this one. We are stocked up. Seed sent over some refills. Oh, we're good for the next four months. And my thing is full, so five months. <laughs> Perfect. I've got some new books off of Poshmark, which as you guys know, we are in the digital renderings for the built-ins in the living room. So once those are installed, then I'll have a nice big area for all my books, a nice big bookshelf. I have about eight, nine books left and three of them are a series. So it's the Maybe Now series. I have to look up the exact order, but maybe now, maybe someday, and maybe not. I actually think it is that order, but I'll look. Yay, new books! We love. This is such a random unboxing, but it's what we got. Okay, this one is exciting if it's what I think it is. I think this is some stuff for the pool. Oh, got a nice big bag. 
I love a bag. Have so much fun mini dipping. Dip, dip, hooray. Emily, team mini dip. <laughs> this is such a cute tote. Love that. I think this is probably a pump, if I'm guessing. Yes, it is. Ooh. Oh, I'm so excited for these. Today is like cloudy. It's hot, but it's cloudy. So next vlog, when we go by the pool, we will blow all of these up. But we've got like, I can't really tell what they are until we blow them up. So we'll see what they send when we get there. But this feels like a big float. This is probably a beach ball. And then I think this is a tube. That's my guess. This is very exciting for my pool days. So thank you, Mini Dip, for sending that over. I think that's all that I have for you right at this moment. I just wanted to get the clutter out of the hallway. I didn't fix it. Yeah? Look at you. Getting things done. We are just walking around the house, just doing all the random cleaning and organizing that needs to be done. Next is my brushes that I use for tanning. They desperately need to be cleaned. So let's do that. You can just see it all come right off. You've needed it so bad. A little bit of soap just to really clean it. And then I just lean them facing down on a towel. Ready, this one's gonna be gross. Oh. Last one. Next is before we put these books away, new books means book stamps. Yay! I have my little stamp right here. So cute. Oh, wait a minute. I went way too many pages in on that one. I should stamp the first page. There we go. Nice. Last one. Literally, who do you think you are? <laughs> what is little pause? He always crosses them. How hysterical is that? What do you think these little tootsies are doing all crossed? <laughs> Next on the list is we need to make a nail appointment for tomorrow because it's been over three weeks and I'm scared of them. They're getting really long and there's been a few close instances where I'm like, ooh, that bent a little too much for my liking. So we're getting them a little shorter and get them refreshed. Honestly, since they're such a nude color, and when I put them upside down, you can tell more, but I feel like this way you can barely even tell, but I'm scared of breaking them, so it'll hurt. One, two, three. Yeah, tomorrow will be three weeks. Oh, but I feel like they still look decent. Babe, what should I do? Just make an appointment. Just go? Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna do a light yellow chrome. What does everyone think about that? Sounds fun. Tomorrow's Monday. Tomorrow we have podcast. So that means I should make my appointment for like... Oh, tomorrow's gonna rain. Perfect. So I won't feel bad sitting in the nail salon. Do like 12.30 so I have time to eat before. Yeah. Hi, can I make an appointment for tomorrow for 12.30 for an acrylic fill-in? Okay. Your name? Alyssa. Okay. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. All right. Bye. She's like a boss, the owner of the nail salon. She'll like sit in her first seat. She got her like AirPod in. She mm -hmm. just like answers the phone while she's doing nails. Really? And she's like making appointments. Yeah, because I've sat in her chair before. She's like making appointments while she's doing the nails, answering the phone calls. That's awesome. She's on a grind. Yeah, she grinded. Okay, nails tomorrow, 1230. Okay, done. My pedicure is still good from three weeks ago, so I don't need to refresh that yet. Okay. Moving on. Next is the cat litter, which is not fun and exciting, so I will spare you guys the details. <laughs> this is what three cats look like. They freaking use the bathroom so much. I mean, granted, this is also like clumping litter, so it's pee too, but... <sighs> Next, this house needs a quick vacuum. I'm also gonna spare you that, because I've shown it a million times. I'm gonna use my big plug-in shark. I use this for like my weekly deep vacuums, and then I use the rechargeable one for, you know, daily use. And little life hack I found, kind of. This outlet right here by the entrance of our house, when I plug the vacuum into here, I can reach every single room. I can go in the dining room, I can go in the kitchen, I can go all the way into the other side of the living room, I can go down the hall, I can go into all the rooms, all the bathrooms, the wire is so nice and long that this outlet allows me to get everywhere. So I don't ever have to unplug and replug in.
Next up is Chom Chomming the couch. It needs it desperately. This thing is like magic. Look at that. Towels are in the wash. We are vacuumed. House is nice and clean. Look at Benji. <laughs> Zane scrubbed down the bathrooms. Everything is tidied. There's nothing laying around. It looks beautiful in here. I'm dying to dive back into my book. So I am going to sit outside. It's actually pretty nice out today. I'm gonna read for like an hour and then come back, take a quick body shower and we will make dinner. I have gotten in my reading, I've gotten in my nice shower, I've got on my skincare, I've got on my comfies. We are ready to make some dinner and look at this you guys, it's like the good old days. I got all my ingredients laid out for you guys. <laughs> I also figured I might as well film a reel for it too and hope that it comes out good enough to share. But here's all our ingredients, we got our chicken, butter, wine, salt and pepper, olive oil, mayo, garlic, onion. I am serving it with some chickpea pasta, but that's like not included in the recipe. I'm just gonna serve it on top of that. Parmesan cheese, Swiss cheese, broccoli, um, just like a plain milk. I just use unsweetened original almond milk when I cook because we don't keep regular milk in the house, so it's just easier to have this. Flour, breadcrumbs. I absolutely just realized I didn't even tell you what we were making. <laughs> I have never heard of this before. Apparently, I looked it up and it originated at a New York City hotel. It's called Chicken Devon, Devon? I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it looks like a casserole and it's like creamy and chicken and broccoli and it just seems so delicious. Oh, we need chicken broth too, but I'm just gonna make that. I'm just gonna make the chicken broth with a bouillon cube. But anyways, it's like a casserole and it looks amazing. Never heard of this before, but I went on Skinny Taste and saw like some of her newer recipes and this was one of them. So that is right up my alley. Like I said, I'm gonna serve it with some chickpea pasta and it'll be a whole casserole dish. So we'll have leftovers as well. So let's get to cooking. First, I'm gonna mise en place everything, so. I'm gonna cut up the chicken, cut up the onion, the garlic, all that jazz, shred the cheese. Also, it's chicken Devon. I just heard her say it, so now we know. Look at the Swiss cheese I just cut in half. It's got cheese holes. That's adorable. I feel like we should try a piece. Let's see. I've definitely had it before, but I can't recall if I liked it or not. interesting I wouldn't eat it on its own but hopefully with the dish it'll be it'll be good we're gonna preheat the oven to 350 broccoli in a large skillet, a teaspoon of olive oil, and then the garlic. Now we're gonna add in the broccoli. I don't know if this is all gonna fit. We're gonna try our best. No leaf. No, we're good. Garlic smells good. Some salt, tablespoon of water. I'm gonna give it a little stir because I smell the garlic burning. Okay, we're good. And now we cover for three minutes. While the broccoli goes, we're gonna prep the chicken. We're gonna brush it with two tablespoons of mayo and then salt and pepper it. Stop. Okay, broccoli is done. We're just gonna finish this up quick. Get all that mayo on there. Make it nice and juicy when we cook it. Okay, salt and pepper. All right, moving on. The broccoli is gonna go into the baking dish. Smells delicious. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. It did say it was supposed to get a little crispy, so I think we're on the right path. Man down. All right, we're going right in the same pan. A little drizzle of oil. Sure, a five minute timer called chicken. 
and we're starting now. Okay, we're doing good. Not gonna lie, this recipe was a little overwhelming at first, but I feel like we've got a hold on it. Five minutes per side on the chicken. Time to flip. Moment of truth. Oh, it looks good. Okay, a five minute timer called chicken. Starting now. <laughs> when the chicken is like almost done, now it's gonna be taken out and put on a cutting board to rest. Now we're gonna make a sauce all in the same skillet. Tablespoon of butter, teaspoon of olive oil. Then in goes the onions. It's gonna go for like two to three minutes. Okay, now we're gonna add in a quarter cup of flour. Give this a little whisk for like a minute. Next, we're gonna add in one cup of chicken broth. One cup of milk. Mine is probably gonna be a little bit darker of a color since I kept all of that delicious flavor from the chicken. I did not want to scrape that out, but that's fine. A little bit of salt. And then two ounces of white wine. I love a wine sauce. Sign me up with that. Flavor is just so good. We're gonna put the heat up a little bit, bring it to a simmer for about a minute and a half. While that's coming to a simmer, we're gonna cut up our chicken. I'm gonna make this into a short form video for you guys that I'll have linked in the description. It's kind of like hot mess when I'm doing it in the vlog. <laughs> But once I edit it for short form content, it'll all make sense and it'll all be in order. And then in the description of my short as well, when you guys click on it, there will be all the instructions and the ingredients. So if you just hit view description, then you'll be able to see it all. Heat's going off, removing it off the heat. Half of the Swiss cheese is going in here. Let that melt in. Guys, this is gonna be good, I feel like. Half of this sauce is gonna get tossed with the broccoli. I just watched back her video and mine is definitely so much darker in color, but I really don't think it matters. I feel like that's about half, so we'll give that a little toss. I hope this doesn't turn out to be a fail, you guys. My sauce is not creamy. My Swiss cheese did not melt in very well. Now the chicken goes on top. Now we're gonna go ahead and just pour the rest of this sauce on here. Except I couldn't move my pan around. Look, I'm just gonna spread that around. Oh God, this does not look like the video at all. Maybe I'm a little rusty. <laughs> no, but I've been cooking. Hello Fresh. Similar. Maybe I should have cleaned out my pan after my chicken was done. It looks like chicken and broccoli from the Chinese restaurant. Not quite what I was going for. <laughs> the rest of the Swiss cheese goes on top. Brown food is good food. That's what Chef Anne says. All right, and then also we got a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, freshly grated. Apparently this is like a better version and a lot of recipes have canned soup, which definitely would have been so much easier, but we had to try this out for you guys. I would have went the canned soup route. <laughs> but we're in too deep next time. <laughs> and lastly, we've got a quarter cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Going right on top. Little spray of olive oil. And we're done, you guys. It's going in the oven, 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes. And that's starting now. Oh. And I'm definitely gonna take those 30 minutes to clean up. I sort of cleaned as I went, so it's not horrible. Just put a few things away. And I'm also gonna get my um, pot boiling. <laughs> I measured out my pasta in the broccoli bowl so I didn't dirty another bowl, but I'm gonna get my water boiling for my pasta. And in that 30 minutes, we can clean, get the pasta done. We'll be good to go. Would you look at that? Counters are wiped down, pasta is done. I clean the butcher block. Everything's out of the sink in the dishwasher or hand washed if need be. And we still have eight minutes and 45 seconds, which honestly, it looks like it's done to me. So I may take it out a little bit early. Might as well get my shot set up for my reel so I can just plate it and be done. Well, actually I'm gonna film taking it out of the oven. Okay. 
It is just me tonight. Unfortunately, Zane is gonna have to wait to try it until tomorrow. I had already had plans to make this like with you guys for the vlog, and then Zane had plans to go out with his boys for dinner. Sorry. It's just us, a whole casserole to ourselves. I was like, you go have fun. I'm still cooking my meal. And it was very tempting that he wasn't gonna be here because then I'm like, oh, it's not like a, what are we having for dinner? It's like, I'm alone, so I might as well get takeout, but I didn't. I decided to get it this week, during the week instead, because a busy work day and takeout at the end of the day, that's like amazing. And I am having withdrawals from my beef chow fun Chinese food with crab ragoons and the general house sauce, it's so good. So that's gonna happen this upcoming week for sure. <laughs> So we're gonna fill up the sippy. And you already know I'm gonna read while I eat. I'm like nearing the end of this book already. It's been like two days, I think. I'm really enjoying it. I'm so curious to see like the plot twist that's about to come. So I'm low-key kind of excited that I'm alone because obviously if Zane was here, we would sit and eat dinner together. I mean, if I told him, hey, listen, I wanna read my book while I eat, he would of course say, go for it. But I like to, if we're both available, eat dinner together, so. Just me and my Kindle and my casserole, baby. I'm just putting a little bit of seasoning on my pasta so it's not so plain, a little bit of salt and garlic powder. All right, ready guys, here it comes. It is already 8.30 p.m. I think I started at like 6.30. I mean, filming adds some time, but damn, that took me a while. I guess if I made it again, it wouldn't take as long. Mm. Hey, but it smells and looks delicious. Right. Okay, time to plate. We're gonna put our pasta on there first. How do I make this aesthetically pleasing for the video? I guess I don't. Here we go. I'm using a cup because that's the serving size, so I'm like, might as well just scoop it with it. Okay, nice and moist. I'm trying to get some of these juices out of here. I'm gonna use a spoon. Put the juices on the pasta. Listen, it doesn't look like the video, but it looks good, so I'll take it. <sighs> it's taste test time, you guys. Are we excited? It's still so hot. I'm gonna try the broccoli. Mm. Let's see the chicken. Mmm. Mm. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm so happy that it doesn't taste bad, you guys. I was having a little bit of doubts. I'm like, uh-oh, is this gonna be edible? Am I gonna have to get Chinese food? <laughs> but it's great. I will say, I feel like it was definitely a lot of work. So I think if I would ever try chicken divan again, I would probably go the canned soup route. <laughs> but it is very yummy and comforting. And I love the breadcrumbs with the chicken. And the chicken is so moist from that mayo. I'm gonna use that trick. Mmm, okay. I'm gonna read my Kindle now. <laughs> Okay, Zane just got back home and look what he brought me. Cold stone. So usually my order, oh my God, the brightness is off. What's going on? Here we go. My usual go-to order, it's phenomenal. It's cinnamon bun batter ice cream with yellow cake mixed in. However, when I'm feeling like going a little bit lighter, I get the wannabe version. This is like the no sugar added vanilla with cinnamon and yellow cake mixed in. So you get the same vibe. I haven't had this order in a while though. Let's see, I just dropped a piece of cake. Let's see how it compares. It's not as good as a cinnamon bun batter, but you get the gist. I just love the consistency of Cold Stone's ice cream, so I'll take it. I'm interrupting myself really quick. I already ended the vlog, but I just had to tell you guys that now that I'm like almost done with it, I got to more of like the cinnamon. It just needed like to be mixed up better, I guess. But once I got to more cinnamon, it's actually very comparable to the cinnamon bun batter. Just had to let you know. You can also add more cinnamon at home, I guess. Why not? But girl is not getting up right now, so. <laughs> Okay, back to me. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed cooking with me and hanging out with me this weekend. Thank you again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Make sure you go check them out down below. They gave me a nice discount for you guys, so go get you a 30-day supply. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys. Is... What? Hey, Ben. Okay. You guys, I fucking suck at tennis. <laughs> so hard. Nice books. You like them? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to take a thumbnail. <laughs> Thank you. I have read. Oh, no. Man down. God, these tones are even opening. Come on. Wow. I'm gonna get my pasta, but. 
I'm gonna get my. Bye, guys. You spooked me.